Hello children, I hope you all are fine and doing your studies well through these tutorial videos. Today I will explain a chapter from your EVS book. So open page number 13 from your EVS book. Chapter 3. The chapter name is My Needs Food We Eat. I repeat, My Needs Food We Eat. First we have to understand what is food? Food is what we eat and drink. It makes us strong and healthy. It gives us energy to work and play. It protects our body from many fatal diseases. We can divide our meal into three parts. Such as in the morning we have our breakfast. In the afternoon we eat lunch. And in the evening, we eat dinner. Now come to some special food items which are cooked during festivals. Like Holi, Diwali, Eid, Christmas, etc. At Holi, Malpua and Gujias are prepared. Cakes and puddings are made at Christmas. At Eid, special biryani and sevai are made. Sounds yummy, right? Yes, those are actually very tasty. There are two sources from where we get food. One is plant, another one is animal. Here in this food pyramid, you can see two layers from the bottom are plant food and top three layers are animal food. What we get from plants are fruits, vegetables and grains. Fruits like apples, bananas, grapes, oranges and many more. Vegetables are onion, carrot, pumpkin, potato etc. Grains are rice and wheat. Animal food items are eggs, milk, meat, honey and many more. From these food items we get proteins. Now among these food items what can you eat raw children? Yes, you are right. Fruits, nuts, peas, cucumber can be eaten raw. But other food items like vegetables, grains, meat, fish must be eaten only after cooking. You cannot eat those foodstuffs raw. As food is very important for us to live, so we must thank God for the variety of food he has blessed us with. So children, few things we have to remember. Do not waste food. Take only as much food as you can eat. Thank the person who has cooked your meal. Some healthy eating habits we must practice such as eat slowly and chew well. Wash your hands before and after every meal. Wash fruits and vegetables before eating and avoid eating junk food. The last part of this chapter is food for different people. In different ages we eat different types of food like for babies soft and smashed food. For old people soft food like dahlia, cornflakes as both of them have chewing problem. Grown-up people also eat soft and light food when they are sick because this type of food helps us to get well soon and regain our strength. Hope you all nicely understood this chapter. If you have any doubts that will be cleared when the school will reopen. Here parents 
please help your words to copy all the activities given in each lesson in their notebook so that we can check it later on these activities you do in your book we can eat dinner in the afternoon false we should eat junk food daily false food helps us to grow true we get milk and meat from animals true meat can be eaten raw false as we grow up we eat only smashed food false now come to fill in the blanks we eat food 3 times a day we should always eat fresh food food gives us energy to work and play we drink water and milk we get food from plants and animals now come to the question answer question number 1 what is food food is what we eat and drink question number 2 why do we need food we need food to grow it makes us strong it gives us energy to protect our body question number 3 when do we have our breakfast we have our breakfast in the morning question number 4 name three food items that we get from animals they are milk eggs and meat question number 5 name three food items that we get from plants they are apple rice and onion question number 6 write two ways to respect your food thank the person who has cooked your food thank god for the food he has blessed us with question number 7 write two healthy eating habits wash your hands before and after eating avoid eating junk food daily name them this all answers you have to find it out from the lesson children that's all for today i will come soon with a new lesson till then you do your homework and write it down all the activities in your notebook